it's Jen. It's the 19th of October and I'm getting prepared to plan out some meals or to prepare some meals for Sukkot, which starts Thursday in the evening and goes until the 29th. So here's the 19th. Here are some ideas that I kind of came up with and I may not do them all, but I made up one made up one of them in my mind just now so i'm gonna get to the first meal i'm going to make is just going to be some vegetables what i have on hand uh some carrots cabbage a couple potatoes some squash and then i have some ground beef left here and i'm just going to make those into little balls and um, put them in soup have some spinach to get our greens in and probably add um can of tomatoes so let's get started Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just slice up these carrots. Now, I won't take you through the whole process. I'm just going to give you some highlights. And this video is just basically for inspiration to others who um, are planning out their feast for this week, this coming week, or the fall feast. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be, so far I have my potatoes, cabbage, and carrots are cut. I'm going to finish up with my squash and also onion. And uh, it looks like I'm going to build my sukkot in my loft of my home. This morning was 39 degrees, and that's quite unusual for this area, um, especially for October. It doesn't get that cold this early in the fall season so I'll probably have to do a makeshift up in my loft to my ground beef I have some ground well this is actually this is actually um, matzah but breadcrumbs egg ground pepper and some salt and I'm gonna add some onion powder and some Italian herbs and then form them into balls Okay, so to keep my hands clean, I'm just going to pick off some small chunks of meat and just drop it in. They don't have, for me, they don't have to be a perfect brown shape. So little chunks of ground beef just to keep the hands clean and I don't I run out of gloves. Okay, so with that saute. some water in the microwave to heat it up and I put a bouillon cube in here so it can dissolve and then I'll pour it into the pot with the vegetables and I added some tomato sauce and I'm just going to add some ground pepper and salt after. Alright, so now I'm going to lower the heat down to probably simmer and let it and cover it and let it cook for as long as it needs. So meal number two, I did reserve some of this ground beef. Again, this is just going to be for two people, so you'll have to double yours, okay? And I'm trying to make this as simple as possible on myself, so I have some onion, some garlic. I'm going to, I have the spices, but I have these taco seasonings, so I'm just going to use this as the base for the chili, diced tomatoes, some on, onion powder, tomato sauce, and some chili beans, and I'll probably add cilantro, and depending on how acidy it is, add a little bit of sugar. Okay, onion and garlic are in, ground beef is in, I'm going to dump the envelope and just give it a cook. salt, fresh cracked pepper, a 
Okay, so to this I'm going to add some corn and some cilantro. And then I'll check for the acidity and add some sugar if needed. Here's my little lone corn that I raised, <laughs> I grew. And um, I'm going to go ahead and add this to the chili beans along with cilantro. Okay, so the corn is in and cilantro is in. And the only thing left to do is check for the flavor as far as salt goes, acidity, etc., etc. Let's see. Mm. Definitely does not need any sugar. Okay. Well, this is good. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook on simmer. So I have two down. I have one chicken soup. And I'll just put beef. Beef soup. Down. Okay, friends. So my soup is done. Chili beans are done. I'm going to let them sit on the countertop and I keep these. I reuse, like to reuse, repurpose things. This was an ice cream container um, with the lid. So I'm just going to have to find the other lid, but I'm going to allow these to cool down to room temperature before putting them in and uh, they'll probably end up going in the fridge for a while and then to the freezer. Okay, so for the next meal, I have a box of couscous, lemon spinach, some cherry tomatoes, garbanzos, lemon, and some thyme, fresh thyme, and a garlic clove. We're going to add some olive oil to this. And if you have cucumber, you can add cucumber. I'm out of cucumber, so I'm just going to go with what I have. So now the garlic and some fresh thyme. And some lemon juice. little ground pepper and some salt add just a few leaves of fresh basil from my garden my basil is drying out or dying out I should say give it a quick stir and this is going to be a nice meal in itself Again, this should be good enough for two people. It's just going to be for two people. Okay, so this is meal number three. I have one last one to do for today. And I'll pick up tomorrow. So this is going to be a cold meal. Put in the fridge. Or we could heat it up and... Um, Eat it hot. Okay, so this next meal is just going to be potatoes, bell peppers, and onion fried, and that will make a good meal.
okay and those will stay there until thursday evening